Well, according to a report from American Medical Response Ambulance Services, there were 95 opioid overdose over overdoses in Manchester and Nashua in the month of January alone. That's a number the two cities haven't seen since April of 2018. Opioid overdoses are on the rise again in New Hampshire after falling steadily since the start of the pandemic. We were really lucky in New Hampshire, one of only three states to see a reduction in uh, deaths and overdoses uh, last year. Chris Staywaz is the regional director of American Medical Response Ambulance Service. He says the overdose numbers seen in the Granite State since the start of the new year have been frustrating. It's about a 50-50 split of the number of people that we encounter who are overdosing for the first time or overdosing multiple times. So there's still a, a pretty large pipeline of people that are coming into this uh, epidemic for the first time. AMR released statistics today that show there were 95 overdoses between Manchester and Nashua in January. Nine of them were deadly. Also today, the CDC announced it may change guidelines for doctors prescribing opioid pain relievers and no longer suggest limiting opioid use for acute pain to just three days. I actually think that's probably a good thing because there were some people when that initial ruling came out that depend on opioids because they are very useful in a lot of cases uh, and they depend upon them. But there were some drastic cuts that came down through to some people who really rely on that medically for an important part of their health care. The current guideline came in response to the opioid epidemic. It limited the amount of opioid painkillers doctors could prescribe and curbed painkiller abuse in a sense. But in turn, the people hooked on pills began switching to more dangerous drugs like heroin and fentanyl, which has been seen a lot in Manchester and Nashua. Experts are still looking for a way to combat opioid use and say the availability of Narcan has made a big difference. And that has unquestionably saved uh, countless lives. And local opioid experts say any changes to the CDC's guidance need to be done so delicately so people are taken care of but they're not abusing such drugs. The CDC now opens a 60-day public comment uh, hearing uh, before those changes officially go into effect. We're live in Manchester tonight. Scott Cook, WMUR News 9.